Um, so SimNet projects, I typically assign two per chapter. We have at the office level content in SimNet, we have three SimNet projects per chapter, one guided project, which are the more detailed instructions, and two independent projects, which are still still give um, a detailed instruction, but take away some of that instructional scaffolding. So it doesn't tell them, like the guided projects will tell them what to do and how to do it. In independent projects tell them what to do, but not specifically how to do it. So again, one step at a time, we're taking them along the way and trying to get them to be competent in the skills that they're applying and to be able to take those skills and transfer them to a different context. So students start in, in the, uh, Projects here, students have a start file. If they're using a Mac machine, it will automatically detect that and uh, and switch to Mac instructions down here. So, and screenshots for Mac and all that. But I'm going to go ahead and download a start file here. And, uh, and notice it's coded with the student's name at the beginning of it. Um, just to help, you know, students if they're sharing computers with somebody so they don't, um, plagiarize basically and use somebody else's file and it is when it's downloaded it is downloaded with a unique code and um, you can as an instructor you can choose the setting on that you can allow them to upload a plagiarized file if they upload somebody else's file if I get Morena's file and I want to upload that you know it the instructor can choose to either block it or allow that upload if they allow the upload it shows up in your gradebook as as a plagiarized file and it tells it you know where it came, you know, who it came from, which college, which class, which semester, all detailed information about that. So, um, so anyway, so there is a there is a code embedded in there that does detect for plagiarism. So when the student after the student oh after they download the file and start on it, then the instructions are down here and it highlights the instructions because I know a lot of our students are splitting their screen or doing the instructions on their phone and and so it can make it hard to follow. So we have little check boxes and highlight and they can go through and do all the all that again in the live application. I'm gonna actually open up the file that So here's here's the file here I'm in three I'm in Office 365 and uh, the file here and I did some work on this previously so I'm going to go ahead and uh, after doing the instructions and then I'm going to go ahead and upload the file and close it here always a good practice to save and close before uploading. And then at this point, it's going to say, hey, are you ready to submit the file for grading or not? And um, if, they, if they're if they working on it, you know, either on campus, like in, yeah, on campus, and then they're going to go home and finish it, they can save it in the SimNet cloud and pull it down. They don't have to email it to themselves or, or on external storage device or even their cloud storage. They can save it on the SimNet cloud. Um, I'm going to just say go ahead and say yes, submit the file. And what this is going to do is going to almost immediately give them feedback on it, which these are auto-graded projects in, in SimNet, so we call them the SimNet projects, and it gives them very detailed feedback on it shows on uh, what they did correct and incorrect. So um, the screenshot or the the uh, solution file is over here, and this is the actual solution file, not the student's file, because sometimes it could be so messed up that it would be hard to display that. But but it annotates everything of what's correct and what's not correct and anything green is correct, anything red is incorrect, anything blue is partial. You can drill down over here, all the numbers and letters relate to the instructions and sub-instruction um, numbers there. So what I did, I intentionally did something incorrect on here to show that we, we've worked over the years on the SimNet grader with Triad to eliminate cascading errors. And so what I mean by that is if there's an error up in instruction three that, that affects the worksheet or the Word document or the Excel database or whatever, PowerPoint presentation, um, if there's an error that affects that, it doesn't cascade down through the entire thing and make everything else wrong. So if they miss something early on, it's not going to affect everything else. It's, we really work on isolating each skill throughout the, 
throughout there. But it does give them really detailed feedback. I only did about half this project, so I scored pretty pretty poorly on this. But uh, but it's it's great feedback. I tend to give on these projects to give my students three attempts on these, so they can go back and redo. Because I I just I want them to master it. That's my that's my goal. I'm not. I'm not a punitive type instructor. I want them to really learn and take things with them because especially like Excel is something they're going to use the rest of their life no matter what business that they're in. So, so those are some net projects. The grader is super accurate. I tell my students if if you if it marks you if you're marked wrong on on it for something, you did something wrong. So, very few times will um Will it mark something wrong that's not that's not incorrect? I mean, almost never, and we fix those almost immediately. We allow for different um, types of formulas, even. For, so, for example, back in the 2016 content in SimNet, and you know, we were rolling into 365. Also, we had if s statements. So, on on some of the worksheets, they could do either a nested if if statement or an if s statement. Either would be acceptable. So, um, so we try to allow in the grader as many different iterations of um, answers, formulas, whatever, as possible in there. So, um, so the grader is really, really, really accurate, surprisingly accurate. And you know, with technology, every iteration just continues to get better and better. So.